I first met Tom and Ed at the, uh, the Sunday Social, obviously, it's where everyone met him. A friend of mine just dragged me, I was, don't normally go out in London, and a friend, but a friend of mine said, you know that thing that you do that you didn't think anyone else liked? I found this club where a lot of other people like it. And she dragged me up to the social, and, and in that weekend I met John Carter, the Kahunas, Tom and Ed. And we, by the end of the weekend we were just swapping phone numbers and kindred spirits. And yeah, I mean, we'd both been doing a fairly similar thing for about a year or two, not knowing the other, the other lot existed really. Well, Red Rocks is a, uh, like a natural amphitheatre in the, the Rocky Mountains by Denver. And it's, it's a legendary gig venue. It's where you 2 did their famous Under a Blood Red Sky. It's one of the most beautiful um, venues you'll ever play, outdoors, surrounded by these rocks. For me, probably the, the best live show I've ever seen them do. I, I mean, I know that where I, I DJ kind of where the mixing desk is and because it's such a steep amphitheatre, I was just sitting by the decks, so I had absolutely the best seat in the house. Smack bang between the speakers, it was the loudest I've ever heard him play, and just the most beautiful, because half the thing is, is the, the crowd, the arms in the air, the lights and everything like that, and that with the backdrop of the, of the, the rocks and the mountains around us. Just, I mean, me and Zoe just sat there for the whole gig, just going, and getting really seriously twisted. I think it's the most twisted I've ever seen them. I think experimentation is probably paramount to what they do. The idea of pushing boundaries, not sitting on your level, you know, um, always moving on to the, to the next one, never digging your own hole, you know. Um, which is one of the reasons they've influenced me so much, because I always, I always said to them, you know, I'd listen to their album before I'd start my next one, just to see where, where to go next. But yeah, they've, they've never, I'm not sure if it's necessary experimentation, but just not ever getting complacent whether you're experimenting or you're just trying to make it better or bigger they're always looking for a way of, of, of making the show bigger or the music bigger or but um, twisting people's heads fucking with people's heads is definitely one of, one of their hobbies at first we you know me going from doing rock to doing dance like was you know a tantamount to being a traitor you know there's people calling from calling for my blood and but once after they'd done setting sun it was like it was cool for rock for enemy readers to like dance music a bit you know i liked it but only like underworld and underworld and the chemical brothers you know but it was it definitely it turned a whole new audience onto what we were doing and also like i said you know rather than flirting with rock music they they got into bed with it and, and fucked it royally up the arse <laughs>